All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Razor from Razor Tube coming at you with some new Rust Council Edition news. And before we get into today's topic, make sure to drop that sub and like, hit that notification bell for the most up to date and recent Rust Council Edition news. Anyways, with that being said, today we're going to be talking about the horse update that is out now for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox One X, and all the OG consoles out there. So, what's going on is the horses came to the public testing branch if you guys actually don't have access to it you can download it on the microsoft or sony store and why is this important to you because this little guy here which is part of the horses update which is the horse is the very first land transportation in rust council edition so with that being said the solos duos and trios are going to benefit from this because it's a means of transportation that can get you from monuments back to your base quick from your base to the outpost quick from your base to get gathering scrap quicker there's a ton of options you can utilize with that being said we're also going to get a ranch update this ranch update comes with npc quests and where you could actually purchase all the items for your horses so let's head over there now and then uh, we will talk about the ranch and all of its uses so here is the ranch what we do with it here is basically you're able to purchase all of the horses that you are going to be riding in Rust Council Edition from any different type of color you want, from the type of breed you want. You can get the horse that you need with different stats. Whatever the stats you want on the horse, it's here. So you can pick and choose what type of horse you gather from the ranches. With that being said, you can also purchase the items for the horse like the hor high quality horseshoes which make it go faster different types of armor which is roadside armor and wooden armor for the horse the roadside armor I don't know if it's like the PC yet but it kind of weighed the horse down but it stops it from getting murked pretty quick but you can also purchase different types of saddles one is a single saddle another is a double saddle that comes in Rust Council Edition the horse apocalypse update so if you go over here to the npc uh, shop you can go ahead and purchase whatever items you want from him whether it be the horseshoes the saddles or whatever and get going on your journey now obviously it's going to cost you a little bit of scrap to purchase a horse and the items for the horse but with that being said on screen you can see right now how much each item costs so you're looking at a saddle for 75, so you're looking for the roadside armor to like 100 scrap, and the horseshoes are 40 scrap. So, I mean, it's worth the purchase, especially if you want to get around the map fast. Are you going to be able to go around the map fast? You're going to be able to just traverse anywhere at any time, as long as you can keep these little guys alive. Now, building a base and adding a little horse garage to it or stable to it is going to be vital in each and every wipe now just so you could store the transportation. Now remember, you're gonna to have to have a stable with some food in it that you're gonna to have to grow in order to feed these little guys. But with that being said, this is going to set the stage for the future content that's coming to us very soon, which will be cars and minis, but more in particular is what's on the Rust Council community's mind is community servers. Now we know we're going to get that at the end of the year. We don't know when. Double Eleven hasn't specified when that's going to happen. But we do know after the horse update, we have one of three things gonna, that are going to come to fruition. It's either going to be cars, which we already have electricity in place for, and we just need the car lift and the actual models of the cars in the game, and minis, which I don't think we're going to see until next year, but that's okay. And then most of all, and the most sought after bucket listed item in the Rust Council community's freaking mind is community servers, solo duo trio servers. But needless to say, now we can enjoy traversing the map a little bit differently and you can utilize the horses as you want, whenever you want, as long as you have the scrap to purchase them. Now, are they going to be good to have all the time? Not necessarily. I think that horses in general and traveling the map is going to be a little bit more difficult depending on how they traverse up mountains and different types of terrain. But I think it's good if you just follow the roads and whatnot because once we were able to get that terrain optimization, 
They were doing this to get ready for land transportation, such as horses and cars and whatnot. So, is the horse the best means of transportation? Hmm, I don't think so, but it's another one. So it makes the game and the way we transport each other in loot around the map a little bit more versatile. So, do I think this update's great? Hell yes, I think it's great. But do I think that there's more to come soon with better transportation or a better means of transportation? Absolutely. Anyways, enjoy the Horse Apocalypse update. I'm glad you guys are sticking around. I see new subs coming in every day. I appreciate all the support. If you want to further that support, you can always donate to the channel. You can sub to the channel or you can become a member to this channel. But before you guys leave, if you're new, Drop that sub and like if you like the content you see, and I will see you in the next Rust Council Edition update. Thank you very much. I will see you guys soon. Bye!